So a very interesting product was just announced last released and essentially this marks one of the first AI wearables that we will be seeing deployed on the market. Now, I want you all to watch this product demonstration because it is very interesting because there is a lot that we do need to discuss about this very interesting product as there are many points that people are bringing up need to be talked about. So here we have Humane's first AI pin. Welcome to Humane. This is the Humane AI pin. It's a standalone device and software platform built from the ground up for AI. It comes in three colorways, got Eclipse, Lunar, and Equinox. There's two pieces, a computer and a battery booster. Now the battery booster powers a smaller battery inside the main computer. And this is how we achieve our all day battery life. So if you ever exhaust the booster, you just reach into your pocket or bag and hot swap it. This is a perpetual power system that allows you to use your AI pin for as long as you want. There are no wake words, so it's not always listening or always recording. In fact, it doesn't do anything until you engage with it. And your engagement comes through your voice, touch, gesture, or the laser ink display. It also comes with its own connectivity built right in, our own humane network connected by T-Mobile. We were able to pack a lot of technology into something really small. It runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, and that means it's really fast, which is crucial for AI. It's got an ultra-wide RGB camera, depth sensor, and motion sensors. And it's got this really special speaker that creates this bubble of sound. It can be really intimate, or it can be really loud. It has an indicator that we call the Trust Light that is built directly into the AI Pins hardware via a dedicated privacy chip. The Trust Light indicates when its input, optical, or audio sensors are active, ensuring full transparency and data security. The AI Pin privacy chip also protects it from being exploited, which means if it's ever physically tampered with, it will require service from Humane to restore operation. The AI Pin comes with a beacon that lets you know when it has something for you. Like messages from trusted contacts or services like cars or food as they come available online in the future. We don't do apps. Humane's OS runs AI experiences that are on device and in the cloud. The OS understands what you need and picks the right AI in the moment. What this means is that you no longer have to search for, download, or manage apps. These AIs are streamed on demand at the speed of thought. Let's play some music. Play the song, How Music Makes You Feel Better. We've partnered with Tidal, which you get out of the box, and you can do some amazing things. Really cool things driven by AI, like play music written by Prince, but not performed by Prince. Or play songs from famous sci-fi films. I've got my music controls. If I go to the left, I can go back. If I go to the right, I can skip. If I was to go down, I can pause. And to get back to my home screen, I just close my hand. Okay. Got my clock. Weather. The date. If I tilt my hand up, got nearby. It tells me everything that might be around me and where I am at the same time. I can also use it to ask questions like, when is the next eclipse and where is the best place to see it? This is an AI browsing the web or grabbing knowledge from all over the internet. The next total solar eclipse will occur on April 8th, 2024. Best places to see it are Exmouth, Australia and East Timor. I can use it for messaging, either by voice or laser. Tell Andrew I'll be there later tonight. Your message to Andrew says I'll be there later tonight. Okay to send. Make me sound more excited. Your message to Andrew says I'll be there later tonight. Can't wait. Okay to send. Yes. One of the things I like most about messaging is getting caught up. My AI summarizes what's important, so I don't have to go back and read every message. Catch me up. 
Yanir asked if you want to get hookfish with Sam this week. Michelle sent some notes about today's design sync. Andy and Adam are on their way over. Or using AI to search through messages. What's the gate code that Andrew sent me? The gate code that Andrew sent is 7361. Before, I'd have to scroll through a long text chain to the last time I went to Andrew's house. Of course, you can make a phone call. Call Yanir. Hey. Hey, Yanir. Can you help me with this demo? Be right there. Thanks. Now, of course, you can also use Bluetooth headphones at any time. Estamos casi listos para enviar la versión final. We are almost ready to ship the final version. Great. I can't wait. Thanks so much. Genial. No puedo esperar. Muchas gracias. So, what happened there is the AI auto-detected Spanish, interpreted to English, and replied back to Yanir in Spanish with my intonation. I can also force it into any language I'd like to speak or understand. With computer vision, the AI can recognize objects. And we're starting with health and nutrition. I've got goals that I've set up in my AI that I no longer need to think about. How much protein? These almonds have 15 grams of protein. Great. I'm going to eat it. Enjoy it. And later I can ask, how much protein have I had today? You have had 22 grams of protein today. It's really cool. When it comes to retail, the AI pin allows you to shop in the real world, hold up an item to learn more about it, and transact seamlessly on the go without relying on screens. How much is this online? This is $28 online. Great. Buy it. When you want to take a photo, just double tap. Or video, staying in the moment, capturing the whole scene, and generating a gorgeous image. It'll remember everything you input into notes and then recall what's relevant. Where should Ken and I grab dinner tonight? Here are some recommendations for you. Sushi Ron, Shisen, and Elephant Sushi. Now, how did it know? Because I had input a note a while ago that Ken likes sushi. To manage and access all your data, including photos, videos, and notes, Humane provides a central hub called Humane.Center. This platform is designed to simplify your interaction with the AI pin from setup through daily use. When you purchase the AI pin, you're asked to onboard with Humane via a privacy protected portal. By sharing information with the AI pin up front, you're ensuring that by the time you take your personal AI pin out of its box, the device knows you and your preferences. Let's take a look at accessories. We'll start with our clip that we've designed that allows you to wear the AI pin on any large article of clothing and attach it onto handbags as well. It has a clip that can extend and really get onto any kind of thickness. I'm gonna take this one and attach it like so. It's magnetic, just like all of our accessories. And I'll put it on Bethany so you can see how it works. So I'm extending the arm and then I can rotate it however Bethany wants it to go. We've also got this latch, which is a lightweight adapter that is really great for wearing it on thin or delicate clothing, like a silk blouse or workout apparel where you want it to be really low profile. The other thing that we've designed here are some shields. These shields come in different colorways and they allow you to simply configure and protect the AI pin in a completely different color. And one last accessory we'd like to show you is our charge case. This charge case can hold your entire AI pin along with a battery booster in it for travel, but also for charging. It has a built-in battery that allows you to slip in the AI pin and it'll charge it for more than one charge. It's USB-C powered and super easy to carry and very rugged at the same time. Okay, so the details. 
The AI pin starts at $6.99 for the complete system. This includes an AI pin, charge pad, cable, and adapter, along with a charge case and an extra battery booster. You'll also get the syncing and storage of all your photos and videos, full access to our growing suite of AI-powered services with no limits on the number of queries you can pose, along with unlimited talk, text, and data with a dedicated cell phone number for your AI pin via the Humane Network, all for just $24 a month. We are so excited to finally unveil the AI pin and can't wait for you to begin trying it for yourselves. It is our aim at Humane to build for the world not as it exists today, but as it could be tomorrow. One where we can take the full power of AI everywhere and have it weave seamlessly into our everyday lives. For us, the AI pin is just the beginning. Isn't life about what we experience, what we smell? Can I eat this? Yes, dragon fruits are low in sugar. What we hear? Hey, what should I get here? What we see. Oh. Capture this. And what we feel. What if we build more memories? What are some fun things to do nearby? Share more moments. Can I play songs from the last time we were here? <laughs> what would happen if we rediscover our senses? What if devices went the experience? Catch me up. Lucy called and your flight is at 7 a.m. Tell Lucy I'm on my way. What if life was? AI pin. Okay, so I've seen that this product has received quite a lot of hate and it's understandably so. When there's a new technology deployed, a lot of the times what we tend to do is we tend to reject that technology until it does become mainstream because of course we are pretty skeptical as humans. Now, here is one tweet that I did find that pretty much sums up the net positive that this, you know, technology is going to be bringing. It says value here is spending less time on your phone. You can create more special moments in life with technology and this is the beginning of spatial computing slowly disappearing in the background. And I couldn't agree more. We have to understand that a lot of the times many people have complained about in society how so many of us, even when we're outside with our friends, we are just simply glued to our phones. And although we are social with our friends, we're more so glued to a different social world. And that is definitely quite incredible because as you know, with the rise of social media, it was meant to be an invention that actually gave us more social connection. But in a sense, it actually on some ripped it right away because as you know, sometimes in public, people are on their phones, they're not engaging. And I think with technology like this, that is quite hands-free and has a range of capabilities, I think it's also going to be something that does work, especially since it's one of the first technologies to incorporate this new GPT technology, which means it's going to be more effective than the past technologies. Then of course, we do have another cost here, and I do want to break this down so people understand and one of the things that is, of course, pretty interesting is the price. The price of this is very, very steep. Now, they've priced it at around $700, which means that this is not priced at the average consumer. So your average consumer is not going to be able to buy this. But at the same time, understandably so, because anytime new technology is introduced, it's usually pretty expensive. You know, this is essentially an aura ring and it's something that is another piece of wearable technology. Trust me when I say there's not that much wearable technologies out there that actually make sense to have. And for those of you who don't really know about wearables, this is actually something that is pretty common in the wearable space. Many wearables do have a subscription. So you can see right here, this is Whoop. This is another wearable. It's a fitness wearable. And you can see that 12 month membership is around, you know, $20 per month. And then of course, with the Aura Ring, and of course with the Aura Ring, it starts at around $300 going all the way up to $450. And I think there's around a $6 a month membership that you can have. So the pricing of this, while it does start out to be pretty steep, it isn't something that is completely insane. And this tweet response here, here is just a really good one. It says $700 plus a minimum of 300 additional per year is a tall ask for spending less time on your phone. And you know, the person says, if I save this much time every day, for example, two hours a day times 365 days a year, 403 hours a year, go on your phone settings and look up how much time usage you save if you save about 20% of your time. And that's true. We do waste a lot of the time on our phones. How many times are we in public? We have to pull out our phone to do something. I think it definitely will be interesting because this technology is in its first iteration. What we are seeing is 
we are seeing the first iteration of this model. I mean, it's easy for people to say that, oh, you know, the phone is so much better, yada, yada, yada. But this is the first iteration, you know, imagine their 10th iteration of this model, how much faster it's going to be, how much better the vision capabilities are going to be and how much cheaper it's likely going to be. I think if successful, if this product does prove to be successful, which it might not for everyone, but for a select few, I, I really do think it will. I think what we're going to have is not, not, not as so much as a revolution, but an interesting dynamic to where, you know, the phones aren't going to be a thing of the past, but we're going to be less using them in public. And another thing I do think that people are glossing over is, of course, the vision capabilities. I mean, for an AI app to be able to have vision capabilities, I'm not sure if this is hooked up to the GPT-4 API, vision API, which I think it is, but the vision API is pretty expensive. So I'm not entirely sure about that. But if it is, it would be really cool because being able to use that vision to be able to simply know exactly what's going on around you at all times is definitely very interesting. And of course, I do think that the part where the guy spoke to him in Spanish and it auto translated that we've seen so many times technologies try to do that and fail. So if this actually does work and it actually does execute effectively, I think this is going to be something that is a complete game changer because breaking down those language barriers is something that AI is able to do in real time. And with this technology, I think that's going to be something that is really, really cool. I mean, imagine you're a tourist, you're in another country, you want to use this seamlessly integrate with other communities. And I definitely think it makes for a greater experience. Now, of course, some people are wondering, is this going to be worth $700? Yada, yada, yada. I mean, it's not worth it to you. That's completely fine. Just don't buy it. See the reviews, see the tech people like Marcus Brownlee review it, see what they say. And of course, in a couple of years, we'll see if this product still is around or if there is a demand slash product fit for this. Now, there was one thing that people were saying was that there was some small inaccuracies where they were saying 15 grams of protein in those almonds. That sure doesn't look like 60, 60 almonds, um, where 60 almonds is 15 grams of protein. Of course, I understand that yes, accuracy is something that you do want to prioritize. This always does happen in demos. We've seen this happen a million different times. The demos don't perform right. But I guess, like I said, we'll have to wait for the official user reviews to come out to see just how effective this is. And of course, remember, it's only going to get better since this is their first iteration of this technology. I don't think that this is going to be their worst version ever. As vision models improves, as APIs get faster and cheaper, I think this technology is going to get just better and more efficient. Now, one thing that I do think, and this is something that didn't get enough tweets, but this is a really, really, really good question and a really good part, okay? It says, can developers build external experiences on this version without being a major brand? And I think that this is one of the most important things that this company should try and do. We know that the creativity doesn't always lie within the company. There are going to be some people out there who just make absolutely creative experiences using the humane pin if possible. And that could open up a different complete way than they think. Because a lot of the times when people deploy products, they think, okay, our users are going to use it in this way. And then what ends up happening is some of the users find a creative way to use that product. And then it's just completely used in a completely different way, but it's still a net positive. So I think that could potentially happen. So I did actually just ask ChatGPT for some examples of where technology gets transformed into different ways. And this isn't technology, but it is just a, just a simple example, just to illustrate how these things happen. You know, Play-Doh was a modeling compound that started as a wallpaper cleaner. But of course, as you know, it's now the thing that kids use to make those small little squishy creatures. But what I'm trying to make is that I think if they give developers to be able to build experiences on this without being a major brand, that's going to be huge for the company because people's creativity is absolutely insane. We've seen ChatGPT being used in insane ways once they've given API access to a bunch of people. With the Vision API only a couple of days ago, if you watch our previous video, you'll know that the Vision API is absolutely stunning what people have been able to do with that. So I think that will be the very, very next stage in evolution for Humane. And I really do want that if that is possible. Overall, I think this product is a net positive. I don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be. But like I said, time will tell to see if this technology sticks on. I personally think that AI is around to stay. AI assistants are also definitely around to stay. This product does continue to gain traction and momentum. I think it's going to be a big competitor. And I do think that a large company may buy them out. I would say Apple would buy them out. But what's funny enough is that this company was actually founded by like the majority of people that left Apple. So I'm not sure if they're going to sell back to Apple. That would be an interesting dynamic if that actually does happen. If this product does take off, we're about to see a new infusion of tons of AI wearables and different devices. But like I said, AI assistants have always been here, whether it's been Amazon's Alexa that's been in your home. A vision model now is definitely going to be something that's really interesting and really cool. So let me know your comments in the description below, because I think this is one of the most interesting products of the decade.